All right, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you guys coming back. Stay tuned for some more. If you are interested in watching the rest of this shoe video, you are going to see what I bought during this quarantine and some old styles as well. I mean, who doesn't like shoes? So if you are a shoe holic like myself, stay tuned for the rest of this video. All right, so first up, we got a pair of these shoes from Shoe Dazzle, size 11, clearly. That is what I wear. Most of these shoes are a size 11. Um, so basically, these ones I did grab from, I believe, the 2019 Shoe Dazzle year, or it was 2020, but I'm about 100% sure it was from 2019. I At first, when I did wear them, I was not confident in wearing them because they're so... I don't know thin at the bottom but clearly I am gonna try them on and it's been a while since I've actually worn them now pretty much from here on I tried them on for the first time in like two years and I have got to say they're very um comfortable <laughs> really weird because they're really thin but um so when I bought these they fit fine but because like I said when they're thin at the bottom they have a tendency of hurting a lot more but since I've lost some weight, I actually tried them on and surprisingly are pretty, you know, tolerable. I will say for the, the most part, um, I am learning still to wear these types of shoes because sometimes they can be tricky. All right, this other pair that we have up here, I did purchase these from a black owned shop called Shoes to Die For. And I've actually purchased through them plenty of times before in the past. I have gotten them. I've never been disappointed in anything. Um, I do realize that a lot of the kicks that I do buy from them are from my Cape Robin brand, which is something that I really like because the Cape Robin brand hasn't let me down quite yet. Um, I haven't had a defective pair of shoes at all that I'm aware of, but every single time I buy from this uh, Shoes to Die For company, they have always delivered. I've never had a problem with anything when it comes to shipping or any of that mess. Um, they are just pretty much really professional when handling any issues that I may have had in, uh, with them, which I've never in experienced an actual issue. An actual issue. Guys, I can't even talk. I'm sorry. I will say a lot of high heels are starting to get those little metal things for the laces, which is really great. Now, when I tried these on, I'm not really used to wearing wraparound shoes. And also, I will say this, my toes are sticking out because when I um, was actually gathering all the shoes to film... I ended up breaking my pinky toe on my right foot. I broke it so hard that I actually could hear the noise. I'm not trying to gross anybody out. I'm sorry, but that's pretty much what happened to me. I let a week go by, but I still felt the pain. But I had to grin and bear it because I wanted to get this video done. And then a week later, I busted my left toe. I'm just a damn klutz, okay? Just, I am a klutz. Alrighty, so here we got some Ego Mules. I really love these. These were phenomenal. I was actually putting myself on the wait list for these because they were that popular. They sold out twice. I do love the fact that they have the clear heel on them. And that's really one of the main reasons I got them. And of course, the big black bows in the front. They look so different compared to a lot of other shoes that I've worn before. And as I said in the uh, previous uh, little mention a minute ago, I did break, like I said, my toe. So... I was trying to grin and bear it throughout this entire filming. It was about three or four hours long of filming. So I do appreciate if you guys, you know, leave me a quick little comment, you know, if you guys like the video or not. It gives me really great feedback. Plus, it also lets me know if you guys like the video or not. Now, because you do, you know, more videos like this. These were surprisingly very comfortable. And as, you know, mules as they are, they are kind of tricky sometimes to walk in. So if you've never walked in mules, I would definitely start with a kitten heel. If anything, do not, and I do repeat, do not start with ankle breakers. All right, so now we have a pair of Public Desire mules as well. And y'all know this color is very, very, very hot right now. A pair of any brown shoes, boots, heels it doesn't matter what it is it's very popular right now especially that dark brown or even a camel color these are gorgeous I could not resist I had to put myself through the ringer to get these like I was very insistent on making sure that I got my hands on these surprisingly they're very comfortable and if you're a, a person who is like in between size kind of like if it's a wide or a medium these are actually perfect I'm like a weird in between medium wide 
um, but these do fit great. They are very comfortable. I like the front of them. That's why I really got them and also the color and that gold heel has been just instant pop of color and it's just a really great thing that they added to this shoe. I will definitely highly suggest these shoes if you want to add them to your collection. This is a great staple to have and it will bring any outfit to life. All right, so we've got some green public desire heels and you can see there's a trend with these. Apparently I had a thing for the pointed toe look because it's very in and it's very hard to find these in my size in general. Some of these were also available in a wide size and I really wanted the pink ones, but unfortunately they did not have my size, but some of these are available in wide. These, I just had to get them in general because that color of pop is insane. And just the entire scheme of the entire shoe is really cool because it's gold heel. It's got a, a gold, um, I guess you want to call it a gold plate that is on where your toes are at, if you can see that. And also it has that little padlock type of deal on there. Um, it does have like that clasp on there and surprisingly so I was able to manage and actually fit my ankle in there and I had extra space with it so it was a really good fit. I will say though also with this shoe it is very thin at the bottom so just be aware that they felt very thin. Still a really great spring shoe I would definitely recommend it. Alright so now we have this shoe dazzle. I don't even know what shoe this is i forgot the actual name for it but these are a nice thick chunky heel i wanted to kind of mix it up a little bit in the entire video haul these are a complete standout these are a great shoe to wear with i would say like a circle skirt a skater's a skirt i would say something like i don't know even shorts some uh jeans anything is pretty much pairable with this type of exact heel it does have a thick platform it looks like it's about two inches it has a really nice color to these things also, I failed to mention that the heel is very, very sturdy, just like the other ones that I do carry. I have them in several other colors. I do love these. I have them in yellow and I believe also black. And Shoe Dazzle just has not let me down with their shoes very much. I love their easy return policy. That's really what draws me to Shoe Dazzle a lot. Aren't these a complete vibe though? Like these are completely some Peggy Bundy shoes right here. Tell me they are not. These are super cool. I have been in some cheetah print type stuff for a long, long time before it became like this crazy popular thing that just have. But this is a very cool, very comfortable shoe. I luckily find a lot of these cool shoes on my Instagram Explore page or just because I do follow them on Instagram, I do find a lot of cool pieces. All right, y'all, so I just wanted to mention this again. I do apologize if I seem a little wobbly. Like I said, it, I did break both of my pinky toes before I filmed this. I, I'm trying my best, as best as I can, to give y'all some good, you know, content and all that good stuff. So here, of course, these mules, are, like I said, are really popular. Mega big, Peggy Bundy vibes. Um, that heel is super unique, though, I'll say that much, because... You don't really see that type of heel shape very much. It's really, I don't even know what it is, like square, oblong. I really don't know the shape of that, but it's pretty cool. And that completely sets it apart from a lot of other shoes that are being thrown out in the market right now. As I mentioned before, these are a really great shoe to pair with just about anything. I mean, you really can't go wrong with a pair of mules and some jeans. These babies are definitely something really cool and simple and a very wide foot friendly shoe. I do love the heel, especially, can you guys see that? Like it's completely diamond and it has the gold on there. I mean, my God. And it's also suede. Like it's really, really cool and it's very fitting. If you have, a, like I said, a wider foot, this is wide girl, or excuse me, wide foot girl friendly. You know what I'm trying to say? You know what I mean? But it's really, really like, it fits great. I don't even know how else to say it. Also, if I fail to mention, these are also from the shop Shoes to Die For, black owned as well. They are, like I said, phenomenal. They have some of the greatest like selection that they have there. And a lot of the places that are sold out on a particular shoe, sometimes these folks usually will carry it. And also in a size, I think 11, as far as I know, that's the highest that they carry for shoe sizes. 
I mean, that heel is just definitely bling bling in. This is definitely an attention getter immediately. And that little padlock on the foot portion of it is just, you know, a nice little accent piece to it. And as if I didn't mention, these have tons of space. They have a lot of room for those toes. I'm telling you, they will breathe. And I promise you, you won't be slipping and sliding too much. I'm not sure how to suggest the sizing on this, but I just went with my size 11 on this and it fits great. All right, so I will admit that a lot of my styles that I have purchased through these websites were clearly an inspiration because of Instagram. And of course, being stuck indoors to an extent because I am an essential worker, I have been working this entire, entire pandemic. So clearly I did a lot of impulse buys and these were from a website called Shoe Haven. Never heard of them before, but I saw them. They also sold a lot of Cape Robin material and I was like, these are banging right here. Let me tell you, let me tell you. I do have a few things that I did not like about them, I will say, unfortunately. So let's get into it. First things first, like I said, my little pinky toes are still swollen. So I'm going to keep reminding y'all throughout this video. I am so sorry. But of course, if you buy a shoe that has a thin strap on the toe area, it's going, it's definitely going, going to um, be a little bit more painful. And if you are not aware of that, know that now. They are a little painful. I love how they just shine and glimmer in that light. They look so awesome. I will say that that's what I love about them. And also, of course, that rose gold color is really what attracted me to these shoes. And I had been seeing them everywhere. Um, and so I decided to say, let me give them a try. The inside where the toe strap is at does have some weird like elasticy type thing, but it's not even elastic. It's like a weird material that is like a glue type thing. I think just to hold the material together. In here, we got some Eco shoes, y'all. So these are super cute. I love, love, love these shoes. I mean, I'm gonna say that about every shoe, but every shoe is unique by its own self. That's why I love, and will say I love each shoe because they all have their unique qualities. These are definite summer shoes. Tell me they're not summer and spring shoes. They're white. They're a little perspex, and I did get my shoe size, and surprisingly, these things are comfortable. I love these. And as you can tell, there's a trend with these types of shoes in this entire haul. They, a lot of them do have like a gold heel. So I couldn't resist. Like it's something that's really cool. Um, so I did, like I said, mention that these are my size that I did buy. They are size 11. They look like, I think that's just the look on the, how the way they are worn, like the little squishy type fat sides on my feet. But I think that's just with a lot of people's feet in general is because they are perspex on the front. Perspex have a tendency of doing that to you in general. Also with Perspex heels, if the entire shoe is a Perspex, like nine times out of 10, you're gonna have to size up. So these are great ones if you wanna go to the store or if you wanna go out to the club or go down to the street because you can't really go nowhere. These are great for that. Here we have some Shoe Dazzle Kicks. And I'm gonna keep saying the word kicks shoes high heels whatever you want to identify them with these are shoes no matter what footwear <laughs> i love these of course you're gonna just have to have a couple chunky heels in your collection because they're of course the most comfortable considering the fact that there is a platform attached to that there are you know the heel is not stiletto and that means you're not going to have as much pain with your feet these are actually very very ridiculously comfortable they're so damn comfortable, I could practically tap dance in these bitches, and I love them, love them, love them. And I also bought them in another funky color, which was like an iridescent snakeskin type of deal. I don't even know what it was, but I had to get them. And of course, Shoe Dazzle, when I buy their stuff, it's usually on sale. You have to get them when they are hot, y'all, because if you do not get them, you're going to miss out real quick, okay? You will learn that the hard way, and if... I mean, I need to get sponsored by Shoe Dazzle. I've been a fan and I've been a member for a very long time, since about 2012. I do love these a lot. These are, like I said, comfortable and they're great for any day wear. And also, like I said, spring is coming up. These are great for spring, especially if you're not into like bright colors. Very great for spring. Oh my God. Can you guys see this one here? Like, can you take a moment to admire the coolness and the blinginess that comes with these shoes? Do you know how hard it was for me to find a pair of Perspex heels like these? And these are the ones that I was talking about that are full Perspex that you usually have to size up. Well, 
To my surprise, when I received these shoes, I tried them on and they were actually slightly big on me. Akira is where I bought these from. And if you guys have not heard of Akira, they are the bomb. Kid you not, I have bought several shoes from them and they never let me down and their customer service is phenomenal. Never let me down. These are from the, uh, I believe it's Ali, uh, Azalea Wang collection that they have there. And I believe I also got these on sale. They bling, they shine, they shimmer, they do every kind of dance you can think of and they will twerk on your feet, okay? I will say these are actually comfortable, but the only issue that I do have is that back part right there. They do hurt a little bit right there and I think I can put something there that can prevent me from having to have any pain in there. Like I said, they are a little bit big, so I'm assuming inserts are a definite must for this shoe just so I can tighten up a little bit because like I said, they're a little big. Normal... Normally, excuse me, Perspex shoes have a tendency of running smaller. These run true, and I mean true to size. I could maybe have gotten away with a size 11, and these are a 12. Oh, that bling is so cute. All right, here we have the Ego shoes. I was trying to locate them, but I think they sold these completely out. Um, I will say the square toe on these shoes is very unique as a lot of these square toe styles are coming out more and more. Personally, I was not a fan of these at all. I completely thought they were ugly, but me being me, I had to give them a try and see what's up before I start giving them a bad judgment on them. And, you know, surprisingly to say, I did become a slight fan of these. If I failed to mention before, I am linking everything below. And also, if there is not a link for a particular shoe that you see on this haul, that means that the shoe was completely sold out or they don't sell it anymore. What I will say is that these were surprisingly comfortable, um, but they are on the thin side on the bottom where your feet are at, clearly. Um, and they do have some pretty good support, I will say, for the most part on this shoe. And like I said, that transparent heel has been in a lot, so I had to get my hands on some transparent heel. What I did not find comfortable were the straps on your toes area for some weird reason. They, like one of my feet, one of my feet, <laughs> The uh, my foot actually went inside on one of them and on the other one it was for some reason having issues like actually being able to fit I don't know if it was because my toes were a little swollen like I said or because the way it's built but they one of my I think it was my right toe that that was completely slipping out a lot you can see me kind of wiggling my toes a little bit but it was just not having it Red shoes, red shoes, red shoes. Now these beautiful, lovely ladies are from Ego as well. I love the color of this red. That red is just gorgeous. It's just that beautiful, perfect hue of red that you need sometimes to make that outfit pop. You know what I mean? This is it. I love this shoe. It's so simple. It's perfect and it's not complicated. You know, just like life should be, you know, sometimes you need that kind of shoe in your life these are a definite must in your collection i also have these in a yellow color surprisingly i'm gonna keep telling y'all some of these shoes surprise the hell out of me that they actually fit comfortably on my feet now mind you i am a size 11 and i'm an in-between size type person so it just depends on the shoe so i am not a 100 percent 11 sometimes i'm a 10 and a half or a 10 um, it depends on the shoe and where it's being sold at. So if I go to Torrid, it's usually like a 10 or a 10 and a half. Some of these shoes I did notice don't have really much traction. So be very careful when you're walking. If you guys need me to do a video on how to prevent slips with shoes that are brand spanking new, let me know. I will go ahead and get something like that going for y'all. But these are so cute, aren't they? Just that pop of freaking color. And my toenail polish is popping with it too, man. I'm telling y'all. All right, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I'm pretty sure some of you guys are aware I don't really mess with Fashion Nova too much, but because I've decided to get ahead and, you know what I mean, get my fashion stuff going back again, I have to do a review. And this is just for business purposes, I will say. I fell in love with these wedges. Do you understand how cool these are? These are see-through, acrylic style, whatever you want to call them. They remind me of this poster of Marilyn Monroe that I have. And it's basically of her wearing her like 
swimsuit with a pair of clear wedge high heels. And I was just like, I need, 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 need to have these. <laughs> but I'm going to have to probably stretch them out because they are comfortable, but like my toes are clearly sticking out a little bit. Um, but the actual platform itself is ridiculously comfortable. It has really good padding on the actual shoe on the inside. And the actual ankle support is really uh, great on this shoe. I really love it. Um, and I love the color. And also, they felt like they were not going to like fall off me or anti-slip type, uh, an anti-slip type of like feeling on these shoes because a lot of high heels that you get don't even have like anti-slip. So you can see the pads at the bottom. So those do kind of have something at least. It's better than nothing, you know? These are definitely a shoe that I will say that you can dress with just about anything. I mean, you can dress these in a cute sailor outfit or a white tweed dress or a twill dress or whatever you want to call that dress uh, type of material. That's almost like that laundry, you know, twill. I don't know what it is. Anyway, <laughs> I will keep going and saying the word twill. I don't know why. But these are a really cool dress. I mean, dress shoe. Um, a really cool comfortable shoe or a shoe to wear with like some, you know, 1970s type vibe stuff. You know what I mean? I got chills. They're multiplying. <laughs> anyway, these completely gave me that grease vibe. You know what I'm saying? Some of that sandy vibe all day long. Summer, loving, having a blast, all that. I wore these to the grocery store and I will say there was a small con to these shoes. Clearly they are lower, which is something I do love. You cannot wear these shoes for a very long time because I had noticed that on the tops of my toes, like not the tops, but like, you know, where your supposed toe hair would grow or whatever that area. Well, some people have toe hair, some people don't. And so well, that, that particular area, I noticed when I was wearing these shoes to the store and walking around in them to test them out, I did realize that that area was right, right there was rubbing up against so much that I actually had some skin come off, y'all. That was not good. I actually wore these months, months, months ago. Um, I bought these last year in 2020 and I, like I said, I had them and I tested them out. Did not like that fact at all. <music> This shoe last year was exceptionally popular. I mean, exceptionally popular. And I forget to mention, Perspec heels usually have air holes so that your feet can breathe and that you don't fog up your shoe so much. These do have that. And these also have padding. Um, I think I'm going to point that out here in a second. I can't recall. <laughs> um, so it does have padding on the inside of these shoes. And I remember this particular style was hot last year and it was very very hard to get my hands on them that i finally luckily found these um over at that um website which is like i said black owned called shoes to die for and they are on instagram i'm gonna link everything below for you guys to go check them out i will link all the shoes below i i think i forgot to say that i'm sorry I'm such a terrible host. I'm so sorry. But yeah, I love these shoes. I also bought the matching um, round bag that goes with these shoes. Uh, these are actually very, very comfortable. I've been finding a lot of comfortable shoes lately. I don't know what it is, but these shoes surprise me. Like I said before, I don't know what it is about mules. And I mean, I guess just because the fact that I'm a size 11, a lot of shoes are not made in my size. And the ones that are are completely gone. Oh my God, do you guys see these? Do you see these? Let's just admire for a moment. Let's have a moment of silence. Can we? <laughs> these shoes are from Ego, clearly. The gold shoe, I mean the gold heel, <laughs> and the shoe is just that cute, cute pink color. Uh, it's not nude per se, it's like a pink. And it has a padlock with the gold chain on the ankle and that heel is just gold as can be. I love this shoe so much that I bought it twice and I believe the other color of these that I have are a uh, sand color, if that makes any sense, like a desert sand type color. For some reason the camera is picking up this shoe color to be really, I guess on the nude side, but it's actually pink. Not bright, bright pink, but it's a nice, comfortable, I don't even know what kind of pink color you would describe that to be. 
But like I said, I do have these in that sand color. Color? <laughs> I mean, you guys can tell these are comfortable. Look, I'm just dancing in these things. These are so freaking cute. They can bring an outfit together so well if it's simple. Like a cute white pleated like skirt or dress that's pleated that's white. And this, with that paired, oh my God, you would kill the room. These are something that are completely out of my comfort zone. I have been buying wraparound shoes for like the last year or so. But these are a completely different style that I would never in my dreams wear. I don't know why. It was just, I don't know what the hell was wrong with me when I was shopping and got these shoes. I must have been either high or drunk. <laughs> Sometimes you get those impulse moments when you're high or drunk and they get you. You know, they get you in the middle of the night. But I tried them on. Nonetheless, I did buy them. I purchased them from Ego. And what I did love about them from the get-go was the fact that the ends of the wraparound uh, situation there have those little metal portion or <laughs> metal pieces that keep your actual laces from having to get undone and get unraveled and just basically completely jack, you know, jack up on their own eventually. Now this style completely surprised me because I, like I said, it was just not my type of shoe to wear because I didn't like the cut. It was square. You can so you can see right there that it's squared, and it was just so odd. But then I love the color and that it's quilted and it was wrapped around. I was like, this is a very unique combination that I've never really seen before. I've been paying a lot of attention to a lot of these shoes lately, and these are pretty cool. They're pretty unique. <laughs> Oh my God, I told you guys I had them in black, <laughs> but these ones are different. These are actually the ones that are patent black. They have that padlock look like the other ones, but the heel is actually full of, you know, those faux diamonds. And of course, where your toes lay at, diamonds as well. These are astonishing to me. Like when I saw them, my jaw dropped and I said, we're dropping that debit card right on that real quick. I mean, can you see the insanity on the bling on those things? These are definitely a showstopper, man. Like, you cannot tell me you will not be the talk of the location you're going to be at. I can't say that the talk of the club because, honestly, the clubs aren't open right now where I'm at. And, unfortunately, uh, I don't know when they will ever be open. But, nonetheless, we will be stunting eventually. A lot of people on the comments were saying for these shoes when I researched them in the website, they did not like them. Apparently, they felt that they were weak in the uh, chain link on the ankle portion. And I was very also questionable about that. And I follow them on Instagram as well. And that's where I was reading the comments as well about this shoe. And so far, I haven't had any issues with it. I mean, I'm not really going anywhere. I'm just trying them out, you know? Oh, God. These are so cute, aren't they? Do you guys see? Do y'all see that? I, I love me a good cheetah and just a print of cheetah. Just leopard, cheetah, whatever. These are so cool. I love the wraparound. The perspex in the front. This heel is very high, though. I, I think this is six inches, and these are from Shoe Dazzle. I will say I tried them on, and my God, my ankles felt weak because you can just tell your ankles are about to either give out or something, but... I tried them on and I will say the front of the Perspex surprisingly does fit. It fits just right. It's not tight. It's not uncomfortable. It doesn't make my, you know, the skin on my foot hang over too much. Like it's actually very comfortable and the way they cut that is great. It doesn't cut into my skin or any of that. Any of the Perspex shoes that I tried on in this haul did not cut into my skin whatsoever is what I loved about each and every one of those shoes it didn't feel like i was you know feeling like i was gonna cut my foot off or anything like that from the plastic clearly i had a thing going on with these shoes in this haul with wraparounds and gold heels and diamonds i must have been living a dream somewhere on that note you guys please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button on that page of mine and if you guys want to follow my socials i will go ahead and link everything below for you guys my instagram mainly and my tiktok that i usually only post art stuff on so if you guys want to follow me there i will link everything below including the shoe information on that note you guys see you later please stay safe out there mask up sanitize do what you need to do and stay six feet apart 
All right, y'all. Until next time, see you next Sunday. Bye.